Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3 and Black Ice t version 10.52 and where we left off we were, well, we were caught in a bit of a bind. Um, we were being pushed back in Iberia and as you can see we're a little bit ahead of where we were previously and that's because there's really been nothing much to report really. Um, I fell back to what I am calling the Iberian Bridgehead. Um, not the best name I, I can admit. But um... We've got about, uh, well, about 700,000 troops uh, down here to hold off uh, repeated German attacks, and we've been doing that. But the, uh, the major concern is uh, Uber Germany over here, uh, who, realistically, they only need to take Leningrad, and victory will be theirs. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Uh, or taking Kubishayev. Um... As you can see, there there are 84% surrender progress Soviets. Now, they are starting to reinforce their front via events. Uh, and they did get the Winter Offensive event, which will help them. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult to see how the Soviets come back from this. Now, we've won the North African campaign. Uh, we've won the East African campaign. And I'm in the process of, of moving sort of, you know, all of our units sort of out of Africa and over to garrison the East Indies. Now, the, the sort of major concern that I have is that we don't have much time before the Japanese can attack us. I've, I've tried to do it as quickly as I can, but there's only so many transport assets I've got. Um, now, our fleet assets are definitely in position. Uh, and we've got some very, you know, capable fleet commanders here. Um, we've also got, you know, a lot of raiding submarines ready to go and start causing a bit of havoc to supply lines. Uh, and I've also moved over pretty much a pretty sizable air investment. Um, as you can see, a lot of light bombers, a lot of tactical bombers, some some flying boats, some naval bombers, some twin engine fighters, um, a little bit of, of sort of fighter air cover as well. So we've, we've got a really sizable air investment over here as well, which should help. And, you know, I've started to garrison up all of our different areas. Now there are plenty of garrisons on these islands, I just don't know how useful these Dutch divisions will be um, in a stand-up fight, so I want to sort of make sure there's British divisions pretty much everywhere uh, and as you can see we are moving units around to you know achieve that aim. We've got about five days before a Japanese sort of you know confirmation of war uh, and a lot of this is going to rely on, on how the US and I can react. Now, we are absolutely wrecking submarines. Um, Convoys-wise, we're, we're not doing too badly. Uh, I have pulled out of Hong Kong, so there was a division up in Hong Kong, which I pulled back. Because I don't think there's a massive amount of point in attempting to hold that down. Uh, because, you know, we're just going to get swarmed. And I don't want to export any rubber, thank you. And yeah, our auxiliary vessels have, have dropped off yeah, yeah, another garrison unit. So Borneo is fairly well defended. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but there's at least some divisions set up. Uh, in fact, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And we've got like an old guard. Yeah, you'll do. And we'll just give you over to like... Yeah, the China Station Command, why not? Uh, now, our naval assets, yeah, you're all linked to Home Command, and we don't want that. Now, who is the naval commander over here? Lancelot Holland. Okay, interesting. Uh, was Holland not the commander on the hood when that sank? I have no idea, but he's going to be getting a lot of action now. Well, the thing is, we've KO'd the Italian Navy, which has been reduced to literally two ships. And the German Navy isn't doing much better at the moment because we've been refocusing all of our units back over there to deal with it. Right, yeah, so we're ready to go on that front. I wonder if those Polish submar uh, submariners ever thought that they'd be uh, fighting in China. Or, you know, near to China as part of the China Station. Very interesting. Okay, so you're ready to rock and roll. Um, I would rather connect him up to the First Army Group. Yeah, 
Yeah, so Ord's got two armies under his direct control. About 400,000. Uh, and then William Slim has a pretty sizable amount of units under his direct command as well. Uh, nearly a level 8 commander, um, but as you can see, he's got the majority of the air forces on the Malay Peninsula. I think the peninsula itself is relatively well defended. I'm a bit worried about the possibility of naval invasions, but we will leave some additional militia units on the mainland, just in case that occurs, because we should have enough to garrison pretty much every major port. Um, so... Right, so there's a bit of a, like, a gap. Okay, so this is an infrastructure dead zone, so even if they take one point, they can't take it all. Uh, let's put you up there, and take you up there as well. So that, that garrisons all of that. Let's bring you back and pick up some more units. Right, there we go, and our supply situation is looking a little tiny bit better. And we're sending, currently, we've got some more light cruisers coming over. Uh, and speaking of ships, we need to just rearrange this slightly. So, 162. Anyone that's fully repaired. Or at least, you know, combat effective. And, you know, 137 isn't that great either. We'll take all the ones that are mostly repaired. So, we've got a few replacements for destroyers in the event that we lose a few units. Oh, in fact, we need to take another one, don't we? Uh, 138, that'll do. But uh, we'll give you just a, you know, a crappy commander. And... China Station. China Station, China Station, and China Station. So, you know, Navy-wise, we've got a pretty sizable uh, group of units, you know, set up and ready to go. We'll get you over there as well. You're one of the transport ship groups. Same thing over here. And we'll be aiming to try and head off any interruption of our garrison deployments, if we can, that will be the key. So, yeah, one group of destroyers down there. Yeah, our light cruisers are definitely heading on back. Um, where is... So, we've got a transport fleet. Yeah, one, two, six... Eight, four, yeah, you're still at home, you're transporting on over, and yeah, you're heading on over. Yeah, we've got a, um, a force building up um, to defend North Africa um, against the possibility of an attack by Iraq and possibly giving us the option to move into Iran. Now, I am thinking we could probably hold a line on the river here, or based around Baghdad. Um, have we got... So, Shagra, Samara, and Al Kuwait. So, we could hold a line here, 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 Baghdad, yeah. Tikrit, yeah, like this would be like a pretty solid line to hold uh, in the event that we, we need to hold it. But we need a rock on side. I want to puppet them and, and get them on side for some extra units. And then we can also count on some Omani support. And, sorry, Oman support and uh, Yemeni support. Uh, do we want to bring over you as well? Uh, probably. Let's. We could do some extra reinforcement. You're heading on back. And are you in position? Yes, very nearly. Okay, yep, supplies for money. Um, 
What am I looking for out of here? Probably you to sort of go there. Now, let's have a look at the infrastructure. Yeah, so there's, there's no direct link here. We could... So there's only a little crappy garrison there. We could take you there and then load up you and you. And then, yeah, let's get you over to, to here. And, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Now, I do think we probably want to send out our raiders relatively soon. want to delay them as long as possible. I'd rather have, you know, the loss of a couple of submarines than any land units, because if we can garrison these islands properly, it will turn them into an absolute nightmare for the Japanese to dislodge. Uh, and we're going to need to fight a delaying action until we can get enough units sort of up together. Now, we're just waiting on fuel over here, because there's a surprising amount of tank divisions uh, that get allocated to this part of the world, but... We've got more than enough to defend. So we've got some auxiliary vessels and things as well that can be used for a bit of slower reclamation. Now, we could move our battleships over. Got two days. Two days, everyone. Now, we are losing a little bit of fuel. Using a lot of fuel. This is the problem with having like all your fleet sort of running around all the time. And that's even with some of our stuff in port. I think if we take you up north and you over to there as well, that will provide enough a garrison. Oh, we've got two divisions here. Now, I personally want to bring them... We, we need some units down in Java, so we're going to, to rebase over to here. Why are you doing this to me? Right, where are we shipping fuel primarily? So, Dover to Colombo. I imagine that there's like a supply dump somewhere. Yeah, so there's a lot of local fuel there. Supplied from Pontenac. Roosthaven. Uh, was that Pontenac? Kula Buet. Was that called? It was called. Where are you being supplied from? Come on. Pont. Okay, so. Yeah, the local supply stuff is coming from there. I think we need to get some more fuel in. Now, we could import fuel. I mean, there's a few things we could do immediately. I mean, we've got an importing fuel from Brazil there. Uh, 
Ah, oh, we've gone green. That was a little bit better. There we go. That's helpful. Pick and choose our battles a little bit, I think is what we're going to need to do. Let's see, you're heading on out. Right, yeah, you've landed. So... I'm going to assume that those Dutch garrisons can actually look after themselves a little bit. Now, I'm putting a lot of maybe undue credit in their direction. But I'm, I'm going to assume that they can at least self-support just for a minute. Just to give my ships long enough to at least arrive. To, like, attack whatever landing fleets arrive. Right, so we've got level 3 there. Now... We want to take a fair amount of you and get you down to Java. All right, off you go. It's more like it, everyone. Starting to really move now. All right, so you've nearly arrived. Right, so. Okay, so Portugal has lent its land to us, and that will free up a few divisions that were randomly down there. Hopefully they'll redeploy. Please tell me they'll redeploy. Maybe they'll redeploy. But um, that, that gives us control over that. Now, we need to send out our ships to start convoy raiding. So I think a good location for convoy raiding will be up here. Now, these long-range submarines are quite old. So I'm not necessarily expecting them to live a lot of this. They're just going to be an annoyance. Uh, in fact, you know what, you're probably better doing that over there. And then you guys. One more group. Let's uh, start getting them to convoy ro raid in that particular area. Go passive with these ones over here. Now, I want to set up a bit of a screen so I'm going to start a patrol mission with a lot of our carriers. Okay, so that should, in theory, just put up a little bit of a blockade. And we do have the ability to do a little bit of air superiority work with our twin engines in this area of the world. Now, when will Siam decide what they want to do? Because they're not in the Axis. Which is good. Now, to defend over here, I feel like we want to take Hood's group and just do a little bit of a patrol mission. Just to make sure nothing sort of spooky comes out. And then we've got two groups of carriers in reserve. So there's no nothing to worry about over there at the moment. Now Siam, let us help. Well, let's move in. Don't make yourselves puppets. Just agree to accept the United Kingdom into your heart. Right, so the US can join the faction now. Okay, so that's good. At least they're in. Now, I wonder, does that mean you'll finally wake your ass up? There we go. Right, perfect. So, Brazil and US now are both in the faction. With any luck, Mexico. Yeah, it's still a little bit of a while. Now, the end of the beginning means we get an IC bonus, which I'm not going to be too upset about. We'll take that. Okay, so let's have a little look-see what we've got going. Okay, so we've won the Battle of Loja. Day of Infamy. 
easy victory down there. Garrison reinforcements are sort of slowly moving their way on up. So you're heading on over with your units. Now, you, 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 and can we fit? Damn it. Come on, don't do this to me. Ah, you bastard. Seriously? One unit? Oh, fucking annoying. Okay, well, what we'll do is, is we'll get you to rebase down to here because you can act as that area's garrison. Now, you fine sirs, get yourselves into some sort of defensive position. Don't see any Japanese assets as of yet. Which is good. This makes me happy. Let's uh, make sure you guys rebase. I'm not sure if I want you to take that route. Can you, like, maybe do this? There we go. That's much better. Yeah, go south. Right, mid-war, so we get Panama Canal. A few little things just to give us a little bit of bonuses, which is good. Right, we've got our CAG level up, which is nice. Another couple of things which just give us a couple of bonuses. And now we can start doing a little bit on operating tech, because I've let these lag behind for far too long. Uh, I am trying to get Iraq to join us peacefully at the moment and keep them out of the Axis. Um, but I think there is an event which puts them in the Axis. So, yeah. I think we just have to declare war on them relatively soon. Soviets still holding. Uh, including up in Leningrad. They might only last until the end of winter, though. Which would be a problem. Uh, have we got anything else that we could build? I mean, convoys... You know, I feel like a lot of convoys would not be terrible. Let's get two groups of them. Really pump it out, because we're going to start losing some ships, I get the feeling. Uh, nope, that's not a Japanese naval battle. Uh, lacking a little bit of fuel. But not as bad as we were lacking it. Okay, so Ord's group. He's got a couple of divisions here. Uh, I feel like we wanted to probably take you guys like over to here. Because it's a relatively easy place to jump off to. And still no major... Oh. You want to not? Would you like to not? Take tank division and a motorized unit and uh, head them down south. Um, we do a bit of fighter cover, couldn't we? So we've got two level 8 air bases. Let's, let's take some fighters. We've probably got some, yeah. Let's get them to sort of re head down to here. Just want to provide a little bit of additional air cover. Okay. So they decide to I annex I am, which is actually helpful because we should just be able to go straight on through. Okay, so that's an infrastructure dead zone. Could have sworn it wasn't. Okay, so let's. Uh, excuse me. We're at war. Oh. Well. In which case, 
uh, carriers, we're not at war. There's me thinking we're uh, we're in a state of uh, conflict. I've still got time, everyone. Run like a madman. Get your units into position, for please, for fuck's sake. Right, we might have like a month. We are putting a little bit of an air corridor up. Gulf of Tunis. Oh, transport ship. I imagine they're looking to land the unit. We are just re-garrisoning over here. At the moment. It's uh, beautiful. Uh, oh. Armoured Brigade Group. I will not say no. Thank you very much, game, for giving me some more units. Uh, I don't suppose you want to join up with, like... Yeah, 13th Corps. How about that? Because we're going to need a lot of these units. That's for sure. Right, so we can move you back now. You can go up to, like, there to start forming a garrison in that area of the world. Uh, yeah, along with there, just be a delaying force in the event that uh, we need it against Vichy France. And we've got a lot of convoys that we're building. Now, we are building a nuclear reactor as well. It's just worth mentioning that, because uh, that's not too bad. That's some good news. Just debating, just to, you know what, we'll just delete that unit. Okay, so we've got a garrison in Barbera. Uh, you guys can all just disconnect now. So we've got an Egyptian garrison, yeah, there. Uh, we don't need two groups of 566. We're just doing this to reclaim a little bit of manpower. And you can go to Mongadishu. You can head up to here. Garrison there already. And I'm thinking one over at Port Sudan. Lovely. So that's all of East Africa at least garrisoned and dealt with. Right, so now I'm debating do we need to move away? I mean, it doesn't look like there's any infrastructure up here. Which does make me think we are better off moving these units down this direction. 16th Corps, we'll just hold, yeah, you can act as the, the direct pincer. Um, looks like we've got enough units to like immediately attack them and draw them in. So yeah, you're moving on round. Right, let's get you guys and bring you back to here. And then we want to garrison these lower island ports. So it's looking already a lot more robust than it did previously. And we're just beating back a couple of militia units. Italy lost 100,000 men in that particular endeavour. Um, and there, most of what we're fighting at the moment is mainly Italians. Italians, some Germans down here. Uh, yeah, some more convoy raiders over in that direction. You're moving on out. You've got some. Oh, you've got some SP artillery. Very nice. Don't take that. I, I saw that. Uh, oh, and we did pop it to Saudis. I did forget to mention that. that um, I did do a quick invasion of Saudi Arabia, but it was just, you know, it's just literally using some Canadian tanks just to roll them over. Um, but, you know, they've got a couple of units as well, so I'm hoping our Middle Eastern coalition will be enough to hold off any German advance in the event that the Soviets do indeed lose everything, which it does look like they're going to do. Alright, battleship crew training. Three and CAG pilots, yep, yeah, um, armoured unit stuff, that's good, let's get the 
get a mobile one as well because we've got a fair amount of motorized infantry in our divisions. Right, are you all together? I kind of want to put them on Borneo. So you know what, we'll do that. Let's get you over to... Let's let's put you down here at whatever the hell this place is called. Got a huge amount of ships out and about, we really do. Right, so we've got a really massive... They're just partisans though, so we need to put a division up there, that's for sure. Uh, you guys... Just go back one. So we've got sort of cores and like commands everywhere. There's no garrison there, but we can fix that. So we can head back. Let's get a yeah, jamber. And then we've got a transport fleet that can head back to here. We've got really a lot of units to garrison this all. If this isn't enough to hold off, you know, a Japanese invasion, then I don't know what is. Right, so we've got another 17. I feel like more convoys. Let's get more. Let's try and get it over 2,500. So the Philippines has joined us. We really need to sort that out over here. There's like a very annoying. Um, yeah, we need to we need to fix that. Okay, so we've got garrison group there. We've got garrison group here. Uh, I could have sworn we did have yeah some landing forces in making their way in theatre. So we only lost 388 that day. And yeah, we're making some we're making some fuel now. You know what? We'll we'll do that. We'll do those. As much as I don't like to trade for fuel, anything that offsets the uh, the deficit we find ourselves in, I'm not actually going to say no to for a change. So you can hold off. I feel like all the transport fleets, once we've sort of got all of our units moderately laid out. We can probably hold off. So, yeah, you're all fine. There's a port here that's not been garrisoned. One here. There's a load on this island chain that needs to be dealt with. You're already moving your units to garrison these areas, so I won't worry about that. Got one there. We've got a division going to help over here at Venvac. Venvac? Mendang. Wonga. What brilliant names. I'm terrible at pronunciations. I really apologise, everyone. I think we just managed to find those fuckers that have been causing us some trouble recently. What the fuck? What is going on here? Can you... In fact, can you be my anti... anti-partisan armoured car? Please, that goes at nearly 20 kilometers per hour. Yeah, this is going to be your job from now on. Yeah, you can head there. You can head here. And you can go down one. So we've now got garrisons all over Vichy in case they decide that they want to get involved. Uh, we've got a straight shot out of Al Kuwait into El Basra, which will outflank their line over here. So we could do with puppeting Iraq and Iran, and then, I mean, if we were able to quickly take Iran, that would give us a really solid defensive position, because we could form up on, like, the river line over here. I mean, there's mountains, there's desert, there's hills. Like, this is going to be a fucker of terrain for them to have to get through. They'll run out of supply very quickly. That's what I'm thinking, is we can put them into, like, supply bottlenecks and then uh, choke them out. Alright, 
unit combined arms. Let's, let's get that going. It's not too bad. So we know we can, like, probably transport everyone now. Let's take any slower ships now out of dodge. I don't think we need you over here anymore. Let's get you to go home. Because you're so slow, you're not that good to me. Yeah, we will we'll take some more crude, why not? the liners there and you guys need to be fed in as well first army you're you've got two calls over there um you know what let's uh redeploy just the army Let's just, like, redeploy that to, like, maybe this island, or, yeah, Baru or something. You're getting all of the juicy redeployment stuff, everyone. This is, this is the, the, the chaff that you normally miss. Alright, we could really do with selling some stuff. Does, does anyone want to buy stuff? Like... That we're not at war with. Uh, hey, there you go. Uh, but you don't have any money. Great. Uh, hey, Saudis, how much money you got? Ah, you got a bit of money. Uh, request trade agreement. Do you want to buy some? No, you don't. Do you want to buy some support? No. Uh, no one has anything for me. Uh, where's the Oman fuel stockpile events coming from now? They were very useful. Bring those back. Okay, so partisan suppression and partisan support. Let's get the support one. So we're getting these, like, transport ships the fuck out of dodge. Because they aren't worth that much. So we've got a group there. You guys are... You guys are landing there, which means you're probably best to uh, land over here as well. And then we can move what's left of our garrisons and things up and around. Alright, Naval Strike Tactics 42. Partisan Suppression. Right, we're losing a little bit on reinforcement now. And we've got to put a little bit more into supply just to keep that ticking on up, looking good. Okay, this this isn't as bad. Fuel stockpiles coming back. Uh, almost at war of Iran, are we? Ah, we are. I really want to get you guys sort of moderately in position. Right, let's go. So, is the independence is guaranteed by us? Well, I'm afraid your independence has been revoked. Right, come on, off we trot. Go, go, go. We've either doomed ourselves or made a brilliant decision. Probably a bit of both. If it's like most of my campaigns. Okay, so we 
we've already won a battle there. We're moving on up. We're gonna try to speed this because we need to take them. A so to crit, yep, over here we need to take that. So we need to take El Basra. That's it, because there's a the Euphrates would make a very good little defensive line. It must be said. See some more. See some more submarines. I have to get one. Electra is taking a bit of damage. They lost the U six hundred. That gets an idea of how many submarines we've sunk. I mean, they're up to the number six hundred. I mean, what more can I really do? Got some close air support, some fighters and things ready to throw over here. Alright, spotting 1943. Partisan suppression. Artillery unit training. Let's get both of those and the uh, you know what we'll, we'll get that so it increases its effectiveness. Alright, you're nearly there. division here. Now, I do think we want to take you and actually position you on this island here. And then you fine gentlemen. It's fine. Won the Battle of Chagra. Right, and then you're moving up and around. Nineteen hours. You're nearly up and running. Yeah, you're already moving on up. We've got a couple more additional divisions that are making their way in theatre. Carrier Task Force, there we go, that's what we want to get. So that's perfect, that'll be done, yep, relatively soon. I don't mind a bit of direct fire percentage improvement, so we'll definitely want to get that. As we get more and more involved in, like, land war, we're going to need to concentrate on those techs a little bit more. And I still don't think we're at war with Japan. I think we're still good on that front. We can postpone our mines. And I'm going to drop a save. And I'm probably going to stop the episode here. So this was like a prep episode for Japan like to get at us. Um, we've got, as I say, a pretty sizable little army up together. It'll be interesting to see how the sort of Japanese AI reacts to the amount of garrisons and things that are currently dedicated to this area. Um, you know, they're all fairly experienced units as well from fighting the Italians in East Africa. So they'll be getting some decent combat modifiers. A lot of the commanders have got decent skills and things, even if they're old guards, which actually works in this kind of terrain. So we'll have to see how it goes. But thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks again. Bye-bye.